Greetings dear viewers, welcome. Today's poem is Magnus, Sergei and 2016. This is a poem about the 2016 World Chess Championship match that was contested between Magnus Carlsen of Norway and Sergei Karyakin of Russia. To tell about the relevance of the match, uh, first uh, let us take, it, uh, take a look from Sergei Karyakin's perspective. Russia was a dominant force in chess uh, for a large part of the 20th century. However, it did change a little bit in the 21st century because um, uh, in 2000, Vladimir Kramnik defeated uh, Garry Kasparov. Of course, he was also a Russian, but later it, the throne uh, went to Vishwanathan Anand. He held it uh, for a long time and the Russians were very keen on having uh, a world champion from their nation. And it was indeed a very sweet news for them when Sergei Karyakin won the candidates tournament and was ready to fight against Magnus Carlsen for the World Chess Championship. Sergei Karyakin is the second youngest Grand Master and um, he was well respected in the chess world much before he was a contender uh, because of all his incredible achievements. Magnus Carlsen at this time he had already contested in two world championship matches against Vishwanathan Anand. The one uh, in 2013 where he won the match uh, and again in 2014 where he defended his world championship title against uh, Vishwanathan Anand. There are a lot of interesting things, uh, rare things that happened in this championship which I've picked out and uh, made it into a poem. The first thing is uh, about uh, Carlsen's reaction uh, after Sergei Karyakin won the game 8. Magnus Carlsen, uh, but even today, he is uh, widely respected in the chess community because of his incredible sportsmanship. Uh, for example, uh, in the uh, online tournament uh, he awarded a point to Ding Liren because Ding Liren was facing some internet connectivity issue Carlson could have easily taken the point but the next game uh, he loses the match uh, to gift a point to Ding Liren so there are a lot of such uh, instances uh, where Carlson has exhibited uh, great sportsmanship and he was well respected in the chess community however after he loses the match uh, uh, after he loses the game eight, uh, Carlson, even though he comes to the press conference, uh, he stays there for some time and later he is very agitated and he uh, just uh, moves out of the press conference without uh, without answering any questions. And this was very rare. As I told, uh, Carlson was usually uh, very, uh, very careful about the duties that he had to perform as a world champion and he was uh, conducting himself excellently but this is one rare slip up the other thing that i wanted to uh, talk about is um, sergey karyakin and the world noticing sergey karyakin sergey karyakin uh, even though he was a very great player the world took a notice of sergey karyakin because of the 2016 world chess championships because of his press conferences and the way he used to talk in the conferences uh, made people uh, take note of how much he loved the game uh, in terms of his uh, child uh, childlike enthusiasm towards the game that was very evident and then in the press conference a very nice thing happened even though he lost the match and he was asked to speak about the uh, match and the very first thing uh, that uh, Sergei Karyakin uh, talks uh, speaks is uh, happy birthday Magnus uh, it was Magnus Carlsen's birthday and this shows the respect he had um, uh, towards the champion and how great a human being he was and entire world took stock of this not just because of this particular incident but throughout the press conferences he conducted himself excellently and the other thing was uh, Sergei Karyakin was also going through uh, his own personal victories uh, his baby had uh, was uh, taking the first steps and he was uh, uh, quite happy about this even though he lost the match so in a way it, it is uh, a very unique uh, in a way that uh, there is a loss uh, in his professional career but there are a lot of other things that he can actually look forward to in his personal life uh, the other thing that that is very interesting is magnus carlson um, he, uh, is is a player is a person who usually speaks um, what he really means uh, he is uh, one person who doesn't sugarcoat or say necessarily things just because it has to be said and in the final uh, speech uh, he thanked his father and um, uh, it was it was a very sensitive 
of him and it was uh, considering that if one has followed magnus carlsen journey and his father's role it really uh, makes a lot of sense that he actually did that because uh, carlsen's father has been a huge support to magnus carlsen um, starting from the sacrifices that he made and uh, also being a manager uh, planning his travels being with him and uh, uh, and uh, helping magnus achieve what he has already achieved the entire uh, tournament was um, very uh, hard fought uh, the score was 6 to 6 after 12 rounds sergey winning one game and magnus also winning one game uh, uh, magnus carlsen even though he lost game 8 he came back in game 10 and it was uh, equal score after the classical game but magnus carlsen wins in the rapid tie break uh, and he he wins in a very beautiful style which was a queen sacrifice and uh, peter swidler was commenting on the game uh, said that considering the occasion it would be very unlikely for magnus carlsen to find this uh, queen queen at 6 kind of a queen sacrifice one he was pleasantly surprised even though it's not a very difficult tactic but uh, he said that the occasion the pressure would make a person very difficult and he was pleasantly surprised and this showed what a great mindset magnus carlson had so these are some of the things that i have taken to uh, put it as a poem and uh, present it to you so let us get started with the poem the young russian was ready to challenge the champ in search of the poem the prodigy from norway had something to say and he stood in the russian sway it was decided that it shall be in New York that these two talents shall uncork their chess skills that were beyond exemplary and create something extraordinary. After the scores being even till the seven games, the challenger tasted victory in game eight. The champion wasn't feeling quite right. Critics did make some inference when he didn't make it to the press conference. The champion stuck back with victory in game 10 with a much needed win. The match was level after the 12th round and to know who will be crowned, a tie break had to be played. The champion dominated the tie break and won in a style that shall be etched, a queen sacrifice to end it all and to take it all. The challenger, though sad about losing the match, had other life's moment to catch. His baby had taken first steps. Alas, life isn't just about results. A warm gesture from the challenger after the match, where he wished the champion, happy birthday Magnus, impressed most of us and taught us that it isn't always about the status. Magnus asserted his supremacy and proved that he is a hard object to be moved. The heartwarming speech where he thanked his father made one ponder how complete a player and person he was trans transitioning into. Uh, as usual, the full poem uh, along with the uh, explanation is available in the description. Um, do check it out. And I'm going to also give the link uh, to the games and this World Championship uh, match details. Thanks for your time.